What is up everybody and welcome to FLW videos in today's episode We're gonna be talking about a guide for doing your special trades for the go fest weekend Now if you haven't heard about this from July 16th until July 18th You're gonna be able to do up to six special trades per day for those three days totaling out to 18 special trades throughout Pokemon go fest and of course that's exciting news if you could do your lucky trades, but maybe you're in the same situation as me where yes, I have lucky friends, but They're global. So there's gonna be no way for me to realistically do any sort of trade with them because Pokemon Go did not institute remote trading uh, in the way of it being global, which is super unfortunate. So you're sitting here saying, well, this is just a, a wasted feature for me because I don't have any lucky trades. So what the heck am I going to do? Well, that's actually going to be what this episode is all about. So hopefully you do enjoy it and it kind of gives you a plan throughout the weekend. And I'll tell you what I'm going to be doing personally. But anyways, if you do enjoy this episode, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. Let's start this video off by defining what a special trade is in Pokemon Go and the different costs associated to it, depending on the category, and then finally by the friendship level that you're at. So for special trades, we've got three different conditions if you go ahead and take a look at the graphic here. And then of course, we've got the most expensive option, and that's a new legendary or a new shiny that you have literally never caught before in Pokemon Go. Now, these are gonna be the most expensive ones as you can see here. A million Stardust, 800,000 Stardust, if you're talking about a good friend or a great friend level. So yeah, that's out of the picture for me. Of course, if you get down to the Ultra and Best Friend, it does make a little bit more sense as far as the cost is concerned, but um, it's a little bit tricky because if you're talking about doing a new Legendary, I don't think that this makes any sense because on day two of GoFest, what's gonna happen is a majority of the Legendary Raid bosses are gonna be coming back for day two so instead of using a, a special trade on a new legendary that you've never caught before, I would recommend just waiting until day two and just try to coordinate some raids that way and get the Pokemon that way. That way you can save yourself some Stardust. But of course, a new shiny, a new shiny could make a lot of sense, um, especially if you've got that one specific Pokemon that you're just really trying to catch. It was out in the wild. It was super rare. It was a part of an event a long time ago, and you really want to get it. It's your favorite Pokemon. Look. I'm not here to tell you to not do that. I think everyone has that one Pokemon that they're out looking for that they would love to do, uh, you know, a new shiny variant of. So I'm not here to say, uh, you know, or to convince you not to do that. We've got 18 lucky or 18 special trades we can do throughout the entire event. So if you want to dedicate one, then by all means go for it. Hopefully it's with a best friend. Uh, I think that that makes sense, but just skip the new legendary if you possibly can and, and just get out there and rate it for day two. Now let's go ahead and talk about the new Pokedex entry. So yes, a new Pokedex entry, but it's gonna be for non-legendaries and non-mythical Pokemon. Now for the most part, people use this for regionally exclusive Pokemon. So let's say for example, you really wanna get yourself a Heracross or some other Pokemon that is regional exclusive outside of you, like uh, you know, Mine Junior or something like that. Uh, of course you wanna dedicate it for these. Uh, for myself, I think that the cool thing about this is if you get out there and raid on Friday or Saturday, which will be day one of GoFest, what you could end up doing is if you just ask people, you never know where they have been before, where they've traveled. And if you were to add someone on the spot to get yourself that Mime Junior or whatever it is in your case, it's only going to end up costing you 20,000 Stardust for that regional Pokemon that you don't have. And I think that that's gonna be a great deal of course, especially compared to that new legendary or that new shiny, even at a best friend. So it's only going to cost you 20,000 Stardust. So it could make sense to save a couple slots for those regionals. And it literally be from random people if that's, uh, you know, the, the worst case scenario. Worst case is only 20,000 Stardust. So I'm going to be out there. I'll be talking to people. I think it makes a lot of sense to at least just ask, hey, does anyone have, a, you know, a Mime Jr.? a hair across, uh, you know, whatever, a course of love for me. That's actually, that's a big one I need to be focusing on, to be honest. But if you've got that in your mind, make sure to just ask people. You never know who's going to have what. Uh, so definitely do that. If you have to add someone on the spot, it's only 20,000 Stardust. So I think that's going to be a great deal. So anyways, I'm just going to use regionals uh, probably for this one. And then finally, we've got the uh, caught legendaries and caught shinies. I think that this is actually what I'm going to focus on the most. 
and especially focus on those legendaries. So as you can see, if you can end up trading with an ultra friend or a best friend, you're talking about 1600 or 800 Stardust, which is just incredible. So super low cost, but it has to already be in your Pokédex on both sides of it, which is extremely important to mention. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to go out and play with my wife on Friday. We're going to go out and catch as many of the uh, Mewtwo's as we can from Legendary Raids. I'll be doing some remotes as well. And of course, if we can get ourselves those shiny Mewtwo's, then that means it unlocks, we've already caught them, and we end up getting these costs that I was just talking about, uh, where it will be a caught shiny for both of us. So crossing our fingers on that. And of course, the shiny Mewtwo would get priority in my opinion, because they both get moved down to the same level, whether it's just a Mewtwo or a shiny Mewtwo, if you both have that shiny Mewtwo. So shiny Mewtwo easily top priority, but the problem is, is let's say on Friday, you get out there, you do those raids, and you just simply don't get uh, any shiny Mewtwo's. Well, I think then that's when you default back to just re-rolling the IVs of the bad Mewtwo's that you ended up catching throughout the day. And uh, just kind of waiting to the last minute to do that. And then just re-rolling those shiny Mewtwo's as you end up catching them if you're out playing with a partner, for example. But I think this uh, the closest kind of situation to this is probably a community day where people end up of course powering up potentially evolving a pokemon that has super ivs or super good ivs and then you just re-roll the bad ones this gives a pokemon a second chance so i think focusing on mewtwo makes a lot of sense for friday and i also think that mewtwo makes a lot of sense for saturday because it's going to be the only legendary pokemon on day one of go fest so that's what i'm going to be doing kind of treating it like a community day weekend where I'm just going to re-roll with my wife. She is a, a best friend. So what's going to end up happening is we're just in it 800 Stardust for everyone that we re-roll. And this is going to be great for her to just give a second chance because she's uh, kind of a newer account and doesn't have any Mewtwo. So this is going to be a great opportunity for that. So I'm just looking at it like a community day. But when you head into day two of GoFest, that is going to be where it's a little bit more tricky. And the reason for that is... There's going to be so many legendary Pokemon that are showing up in raids. So if you try to do the IV reroll, you have to really think about which Pokemon you want to focus on because there's just so many legendaries. So of course, we talked about Mewtwo in day one, day two uh, of just the overall thing, like on Friday and Saturday. But on Sunday, I think it opens up a little bit more. And as far as I'm concerned, one of my top priority Pokemon is probably going to be Dialga. Uh, for pvp and in that you're gonna have to use it for the master league or master league classic so you want to get as close to 100 iv as you possibly can and what i'm gonna do is just literally try to re-roll some of those diagas uh, that's probably gonna be the only one that i'll be focusing on and i might keep uh you know a couple or if i end up getting lucky friends with someone at a later point in time that i can actually do a lucky trade with I'll try to get a Dialga if I don't end up getting 100% IV throughout the weekend, but I think Dialga is going to be a great option. And then of course, anything meta relevant is going to make a lot of sense. I can't tell you specifically which Pokemon beyond a couple of those to focus on because you probably already got it in your mind where you're like, okay, I want to get a Giratina Origin. I want to get a Kyogre. I want to get a whatever. All of those are perfectly fine. I just think that as far as the general guidance is concerned, what makes sense is to maybe focus on a new shiny and maybe you know do like one of them uh potentially just a new shiny and then hopefully you can do that with a best friend and then if you're talking about a new pokedex entry focus on a regionally exclusive pokemon or maybe something that requires uh, a ton of candy another example could be noibats post evolution if someone's already evolved to it why not go ahead and get it that way that way you can um save on time i'm probably never going to be able to evolve a noibat um, I've only actually gotten one out of eggs, for example, so that might be one that I'm going to end up focusing on. Uh, yeah, it'll cost me 20,000 Stardust, but I won't have to think about it anymore, so that's nice. And then finally for the legendaries, uh, Friday, Mewtwo, Saturday, Mewtwo, hopefully focusing on that shinies, but you just can't help how many shinies you end up getting. And then for day three, opens up a little bit more. Just focus on meta relevant ones. Dialga's great. Giratina is great. Mewtwo is great. The list goes on and on, but you probably already have something in your mind and I'm not going to convince you otherwise. If it's meta relevant or if it's something that makes a lot of sense to you and something that's going to be special to you, then by all means go for it. Just make sure that you end up using all of them. And unfortunately, like I said before, uh, you may not get to use your lucky trades, but that's okay. You can still just focus on these and re-roll those IVs. You might as well do it um, and don't let it go to the wayside. But anyways, 
I would love to know which Pokemon you're going to focus on for doing your special trades. Let me know in the comment section below. This will be really helpful for people to just get some different ideas. And of course, uh, give, give the reason why you're focusing on a specific one. Definitely make sure to put that in the comment section below. And I want to give a huge shout out to the supporters over at Patreon. They are members of an exclusive Discord server where we're coordinating for raids for GoFest. So if you're interested in that, definitely check out the Patreon link in the description below. And I will see you next time.